Good afternoon to all. My name is Mani Shoma and uh, presently I am working with SSDH in Goa as a visiting faculty and uh, I am having experience of uh, around 20 years in hotel industry with the 8 years of experience in the hotel industry and 12 years in the academy. And uh, I last uh, before that in the year 2030. I was uh, with IIH and Delhi as a permanent faculty over there and I was looking after as a HOD over there, part time and uh, after that I started my uh, a business which could not do well and uh, in between I was doing the SSDH, I was visiting over there as a faculty and uh, uh, I am here to tell you something about the bar, the bar is a, a specialized area in any of the hotel, that is a very prominent area, very important area, and uh, the because of its uh, uh, it's uh, something that uh, gives the maximum of ge uh, revenue generation in the hotel, and the people working over there has to be very accurate and very fast in the bar. Uh, today I am here to give you some presentation uh, presentation on the utensils and the equipments that we use in the bar. And uh, as I told you, the bar staff must uh, use a wide range of equipments, and these equipments are very essential for uh, in terms of uh, using in the bar. It should be efficiently and accurately used for the effective working over there. This is a bar floor mat, and uh, these are the, the bar which helps you to prevent any kind of spillage. Uh, uh, if there is any spillage, then there is uh, not uh, so much uh, dirty over there than the floor. Secondly, then we have for the hygienic reason we are keeping it over there. Thirdly, that uh, any accidental dropping of glassware or any of the equipment at that time that uh, it. Uh, minimizes the loss. It's a... Carry, carry on, carry on. You can explain. Okay. So, uh, another one is a work table or the pla uh, work table bar rubber or the plastic mat that we keep on the working table of the bar. And uh, on that, on the top of that, we keep, used to keep some glasses or other equipment so that it is not slippery over there and uh, it's form on the table. Then we have the bar caddies over there. Bar caddies are the one which is used for holding the napkins, cocktail napkin, uh, straws, stirrer, and coasters. Then we have the bar condiment caddies. It's used for keeping, as you can see in the picture, the lots of uh, garnishing are being kept on the in this bar condiment caddies. Different condiments and uh, different garnishing are being kept, and these are ready to serve whenever we are making the cocktail or mocktail. It is very, it helps in very quick service. Then we have liqueur uh, speed rail, and. Uh, most of the prominent liqueurs and uh, liquors are kept on the on, in this so that it is uh, uh, easily uh, on your hand and you can give the you can do the fast working on the. This is a bottle opener. It's uh, generally used for removing the metal cap on the top from the neck of the bottle. This is a wine opener. There are different kinds of wine opener and. Uh, the wine opener is used to open up the wine and uh, 
it's always there in the bar because a lot of wine is being used in the bar. It's a champagne bottle stopper. Whenever the guest is uh, served the champagne or any of the sparkling wine, then uh, we, uh, if the guest goes for 15 minutes, 20 minutes for a rest or something else, so you can keep it on the uh, on uh, and uh, just put this champagne bottle stopper so that the sparkling of the wine does not goes uh, anything does not go wrong with the wine. The taste remains the same. The sparkling or the fizz remains the same. Then we have the wine bottle stopper. This is also used to uh, wine bottle stopper is also used for any kind of oxidation in the wine that may form if the air goes into the wine for a longer period if we keep the wine for a, in the air it may uh, be oxidized so and it turns sour so we we are putting the wine stopper for any also for any preparage also and for stopping the oxidation like, then we have the vacuum wine server this is used to clear out any vacuum in the wine and then once the wine vacuum is done, then the uh, cork is put on the cap is used to put on the, the these are the pour spouts and the, these are used by the bartender for every shot it is very easy to measure from this pour spouts every shot is measured and you can easily make any kind of uh, cocktails with the help of the pour, pour spout you can exactly the amount of uh, whatever the ounce you require is comes from that this is a jigger this is used to uh, measure the peg one ounce or two ounce whatever you require and this is jigger this is also called the peg measure in simple term it is also called the peg measure and uh, this is basically required for uh, one shot, two shot, or three shot, whatever shot you you need to put in the cocktail shaker, you need this. Then we have the cocktail shaker and glass. We have uh, two types of cocktail shaker. One is this is the upper one is called the Boston shaker, and this Boston shaker and this is the cocktail shaker. One uh, there are many of the tips that is required to handle this. Uh, cocktail shaker and uh, those tips are always with the bartender the bartender who's working over, over there should be should have very good knowledge of how to handle the uh, cocktail shaker and how to make the uh, cocktails the very important part is that it should not be over flooded it should be always a new uh, whenever you are making a, a cocktail it should be cleaned up the before cocktail after making the cocktail you have to clean it up for another cocktail it should not be overflowed and whenever you are pouring it from the uh, cocktail shaker into the glass the glass should be churned at the right temperature there are many of the other things that is required in the bar when we are making the cocktails and there are many of the tips that is that it must be in a bartender to be very effective in the bar area This is the cocktail strainer. This is a Hawthorn strainer. This is also called the Hawthorn strainer. And uh, we put it on the top of the uh, uh, like uh, shaker, and then we pour the drinks into the glass. There's another kind of uh, strainer that is called the julep strainer. The picture is not given. That is also used in the bar. These are the juice container. The different kinds of juice that is required to be uh, kept for the immediate use. We don't need to go and bring the bottle and then open up the bottle and then pouring it into the glass or in, into the cocktail shaker. These are the juice counter, container and the very effective way of using it is that we have the color demon, uh, color on it so we can use the green one for the apple and so on. This is a steel ice bucket. This is very common and the ice tong is there. Ice tong and the ice bucket. It is also used on the table also and at the bar station and at the counter where you are working. Ice scoops, there are different measures of the ice scoops. Wherever you require a small one, you need to have a small one, a bigger one for the bin, a bigger one for the machine and where you need the bigger. This is ice shot glass mode and you can make it 
for special kinds of drink that is you want to drink you want to give it to the guests these are the different muddlers <coughs> muddlers are basically used in the um, it is used in the mixing glass or the cocktail shaker to muddle up anything like if you are making a mint julep then the mint has to be crushed lemon has to be crushed then you use this muddler and this muddler is also comes in the steel also with the rubber at the last but the effective one is this one wood one and it comes in different shapes shapes but the work is the same these are the bar spoon and it is used for mixing the uh, cocktails or mixtures and uh, it is always kept there in the bar stay bar area and uh, it's one of the prominent tool for the bartender chopping board paring knife and channel knife these are the you require it for cutting the uh, lemon you need to cut the citrus fruit you need to have uh, uh, apple or any of the garnishing that is required that is cut on the chopping board and these are the knife small knife paring knife which is effective over there in the bar area this is a jester which is required to peel out the uh, just from the top of the um, uh, uh, skin of the lemon or uh, uh, orange and it is used in the garnishing then we have the margarita tray this margarita tray is a uh, uh, one which is used for uh, uh, whenever we are making a cocktail and you need to give the cocktail a very good presentation then the we put the rim we rim the we rim the cocktail with the help of uh, salt or sugar or uh, these are the and this tray are effective in that because you just need to put the glass on the top of the tray and rotate it and jab very gently and you will find that its uh, rimming is done the top layer of the glass is uh, rimmed and it looks very beautiful the uh, cocktail looks very beautiful these are the things that is uh, these are the things that is required for the bar area there are others uh, like uh, glassware is also there that's a big uh, topic where you can have uh, more things over here but i want to conclude it in just uh, 20 or 15 minutes point that's why i have kept this only but there are the glassware also there are the uh, other equipments also in the bar area but most of them has been covered over here so mr manish for which category of students this kind of presentation is required this is uh, whenever the students comes in the uh, hotel management they this is uh, in the first year second year third year all the three years okay. so for for your recommendation is it is for first year students or second year students? yeah yeah yes. well, we do it generally in the second year emphasis on the second year student but we give a little touch in the first year also Sir, what is the difference between liquor and liqueur? Uh, liquor is uh, generally the spirits, and uh, liqueurs are uh, sweetened uh, li uh, liquors. These are like uh, uh, liquors are like uh, you can call Jack Daniels, whiskey, or any of the is a liquor. And liqueurs are uh, one we put in the cocktail. Cocktail when we are making the cocktail, a little portion of liqueur is. Uh, added to it, benedictine and all that other liquors. Is the lemon zest that you have shown in the presentation only used for garnishing or any other purpose? Uh, lemon zest can be used for the flavoring also the cocktail. It can be used for the flavoring also, and uh, it is used in the garnishing as well. And uh, like you have concluded with the size of the glass yeah. and the types of glass, <coughs> what is the size of brandy balloon? Brandy balloon, uh, it's uh, around 10 oz. And uh, it's a balloon-shaped uh, uh, glass in which the brandy is served. Cognac is the best brandy that goes into it. What is your core strength in terms of when you are teaching? So you enjoy teaching to initial students or experienced students? Yeah, uh, the, both the way. Like uh, I am teaching for the first year, third year also. Uh, all the three years I am been teaching, and uh, my strength is with the new students also, and with the second year, third year students also. So how you motivate your students in your first class? Uh, motivation is very important. Uh, it's very important for the students to when you want to excel in any of the field, 
motivation is required at the very first stage. So generally I give them the kind of presentation, whatever the videos and I used to take them out from the college for the shows and all that in the fairs and uh, some, some bartending work is done in the bar area, some flaring is done, some juggling is done. Those kind of things which are which motivate the students to uh, work in the uh, hotel industry. Those are the things that we do. I would like to ask, uh, what are your specialized subjects, your core strengths? Why, my, my core strength is the uh, FMB service, food and beverage service. Uh, I can handle the <coughs> restaurant service very well. Uh, is any kind of special, like uh, whenever there is a food festival or any theme based uh, restaurant service we are giving to the restaurants, I can do excel in that. And, uh, and also, the other subjects that I can teach is the tourism and uh, some part of the front office and housekeeping as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.